Welcome back. If you've got a sweet tooth, head up to North Marinette and stop by the candy bar. Inside, you'll meet Jerry Hughes, an Army veteran who took on a tough role during the Korean War. Yeah, I caught up with Jerry last week, who's fondly known as the Candy Man. And that's our dark chocolate. That's a top grade chocolate. And that's just a small sample. That's his favorite of what's inside the candy bar in Marinette. Put those in a separate bag, maybe. Owned by Army veteran and funny guy Jerry Hughes. Whoops. <laughs> along with his wife, Kay. We wanted to do something we could do together. I got 125 here. That's a little hot. <laughs> the store is full of licorice, gummies, and most importantly, chocolates of all kinds. And I'm a chocolateaholic, and so is she. So this worked okay. If you want to know what heaven smells like, but I'm going to be dipping more of this today. Just step on in. Mm -hmm. But before his sweet life as a happy-go-lucky candy man, what can we do for you, sir? Jerry was a member of the U.S. Army with the 82nd Airborne. And that sign seemed like the good thing to do to me because I'm always like to do things that are a little different, and jumping out of an airplane is different. <laughs> <laughs> he signed up to be a scout sniper. My granddaddy taught me to shoot and to track, and I'm pretty good at both. And it just worked out good for me. And he was eventually sent to Korea during the war. The job was to take out the people who were taking our people out. After two years in Korea, he was later sent to Vietnam. They wanted people that had some expertise in what we did. And I think six of us volunteered to do that. Because I didn't like Korea. It was all uphill. <laughs> Spending four years in Vietnam, his time in the Army would end after seven years. I think I did some good for the country, for the uh, Hmong population, and I think I, I don't think I hurt the Vietnamese either. But his service didn't stop as he went on to be a Minnesota State Trooper, and he's appreciative of anyone who puts on a uniform. Anybody that serves now or served then is good people. And now he's serving up delicious treats to some happy customers. And it's, it's a fun business, and you meet nice people. <laughs> And obviously a very fun guy to talk to as well. And Brittany, they left me with some chocolates when I left. Oh, my goodness. All <laughs> homemade, all made right in the store. So the candy bar up north in Marinette, be sure to go check it out. And meet Jerry and Kay, really nice people, too. Don't forget, I'm always taking Hometown Hero nominations, looking for some right now especially. So shoot me an email, nate.stewart at wearegreenbay.com, if you know someone who has proudly served our country. We've got to check out the weekend forecast right after this.